because I told you something, someone can steal your innocence, someone can steal your virginity, someone can steal your comfort, someone can steal your happiness, but nobody can steal your potential. Nobody can steal who you are. So hi, welcome back to Beyond Sight Network. As your host today, you have Marie Nadine Makudum. If you're a new subscriber, welcome. Thank you for being here. If you are an old subscriber, thank you so much for your support. I really appreciate it. So today we are going to be talking about rising above your past. And basically what I'm going to be discussing today is um, why we need to rise above our past. What does it mean for us to rise above our past? And uh, how can we successfully rise above our past? So when I talk with people in discussion sometimes, you know, I hear people talk about um, had this thing not happened to me, I'd, I wouldn't have been like this. Had people treated me differently, I wouldn't be thinking like this. Had my parents had more money, I wouldn't be where I am today. Had I been raised in so-so and so way, I wouldn't be where I am today. If this thing didn't happen to me, then, you know, I wouldn't be at this particular place in my life. And most of the time, we just, like, keep on blaming people and blaming people for the things that have happened to us. You had a tragic something happen to you and it made you a certain way. It, 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 it influenced you very much. And because of that, today, you, you sit on top of that fact to justify why you are the way you are or why you cannot do certain things or why you are doing certain things. In as much as I know very well that um, it's true, like things do happen to us that are out of our control, things do happen to us that are really tragic and we wish they never happened to us, things do happen to us that are sad and that make us, that really change the way we perceive life. I do know that and I do, I do know that sometimes we are not responsible for those things, sometimes uh, the people around us are responsible, sometimes um, the perpetrators of the crimes are responsible, sometimes even our parents or our family members are responsible. I want us to look at it a little bit different, I want us to see it from a deeper, different perspective because why is it important to rise above your past? You know, we can sit here and debate about the fact that, you know, this person was responsible for what happened to you, uh, you were not responsible for what happened to you, uh, had this thing not happened to you, you would have been someone else, had this thing not happened, you would have done this. You know, we can debate about all of these things, but there is one thing that remains a fact. One thing that you and I and every other person is going to accept. Something that none of us can 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 deny can deny. And that fact is that your past is your past. Your past is dead and gone. And you know what? You cannot do anything about it. You cannot change your past, you cannot modify your past, you cannot erase your past. There is nothing that you can do about the past. So if there is nothing you can do about the past, then maybe we can do something about the present. Maybe we can do something about the future. And maybe we can really treat the past for what it is, you know, obsolete, dead and gone. And that is what it is. Not allowing it to determine who we are today. Not allowing it to define what 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 uh, what we can achieve or what we cannot achieve not allowing it to tell us where how far we can go in life or what is it that we can do so i know that it's extremely hard i know because there are some things that it took me years and it was extremely hard for me to just let go of them and sometimes sometimes we also are responsible for some of the things that have happened to us and you know, we spend time blaming ourselves. You may have made a wrong career choice. You may have made um, a wrong choice in partner. Maybe you were raped when you were young or you were raped in before. Maybe you were sodomized as a guy. Maybe you were mistreated. Maybe you were maltreated. Maybe you were insulted. Maybe nobody really cared about you. Maybe your mom gave birth to you and abandoned you or you've never known your dad and all of these things they do happen you know they do happen and i know that as 
as much as it's difficult for us to sometimes understand why these things happen but we cannot keep blaming you blaming those people is going to limit your capacity to be who you have to be in this life you blaming these people is going to it's going to it's like you know when you spend your time blaming people and regretting and just living in the past it's going to act like some sort of prison it's going to like keep you in a box and make you just unable to do anything you would limit your potential you will not exploit your full potential potential because you believe that had this thing not happened i would have been this today so already you feel like you cannot be who you wanted to be because of that thing that happened to you and i know that some things have really happened to us that really really have stopped us from um doing a particular thing that we wanted to do but i'm going to tell you something most of the time we limit ourselves we're like no i can't go back to school because like i have children or i'm too old or you know i was i went through these or you know I, i'm like this today because well my parents didn't have money if they had worked hard and sponsored me when the time was needed when it was needed i wouldn't have been like this you know rather than blaming your parents for not giving you what they ought to have given you as parents why don't you take upon yourself and make those things happen let me come back to the prison that blaming people keeps us keeps us in you know it keeps you in this box that you are living in agony you are living in regret you're living in bitterness you're living in hate you're probably in hatred you're probably having grudges in your mind and stuff like that maybe you went to live with some uncle or some auntie or some cousin who never gave you food who never took care of you who never sent you to school and because of that you know you ended up having to do some funny jobs or find money in a funny way i tell you you can still rise above that like you can still let go of your past you can still forgive these people that are responsible for not giving you what maybe you ought to have had or um forgiving this person that stole your virginity or forgiving this person that raped you and took away your innocence or forgiving this um i don't know or just forgiving yourself for making the wrong choice forgiving yourself for you know not being careful enough and basically um separating yourself from your past in a positive way in a way that leaves you free in a way that leaves you able to face the future with an objective mind facing the future knowing that this is who i am i am whole i'm enough and no matter what has happened in my past i am still going to be able to impact people for example i'm still going to be able to do what i wanted to do i'm still going to be able to give to people what i want because i tell you something someone can steal your innocence someone can steal your virginity someone can steal your comfort someone can steal your happiness but nobody can steal your potential nobody can steal who you are and who you are is unique to you the way god has made you nobody can take that away from you what he has given you the talents he has given you the mind that he has given you the the the, the, the abilities that he has given you and nobody can take that away from you you can limit yourself and tell yourself that because of what i went through i cannot be this but that's just you limiting yourself basically nobody is limiting you you think your past is limiting you but it is your attachment to your past that is limiting you it's not that past because in reality that past does not exist that past is obsolete it has no power over you you are the person giving the, that your past power to control you you know i see some people and you know they are prostituting to have money and then you ask them like why are you doing this why have you chosen this path of life and they told you well my parents i came i come from a poor home my parents never had money so i couldn't continue going to school and i just had to do this to get money and everything and at some point i was raped by my uncle and then um and then like i just got demoralized and i just couldn't do anything with my life and had I not gone through this, I wouldn't have been, you know, a prostitute today or I wouldn't have been living this kind of life today. Now, that is true and her explanation may seem very valid. In fact, it is valid. It is valid. Yes, it's valid. You know, I've not been raped before, so I cannot even imagine the trauma that rape victims go through. But um, just like any other tragic thing that happens to you, just like any other horrible thing that happens to you, 
at some point you have to let go of that pain at some point you you have to free yourself of that pain because there are two things it's either you live with that your whole life and limit yourself or you let it go and I can say that it's physically impossible to really let go of these things but it is possible with God you know God has uh, during the year of 2018 God taught me about forgiveness and there is a way that he taught me about forgiveness that made me to forgive in a way that it was transformative you know you are wondering how you forgive someone or you forgive people and let go but you feel so much better you would think that if you forgive someone they will feel better but sometimes you're even forgiving people who are not even aware of that forgiveness who are not even sorry for what they have done who don't even care the freedom that forgiveness gives you that's when you understand that you weren't even forgiving for that person you were forgiving for yourself you were letting go for yourself and forgiveness entails forgiving your own self what does it mean for you to what does it mean for you to let go of this past and to rise up uh, above your past what it means for you is that you know you're going to be free to live your life um you know in another dimension you're going to be able to know that you can do something because you can do it you know you're not going to determine the level of success you're going to reach based on the circumstances that have happened to you in the past you're not going to determine whether you're going to be successful or not based on the type of background you come from the type of um the social class to which you belonged in the past you know i know some people will say well me i can never be like this because i didn't come from a rich family or me i can never achieve this kind of thing because poor people like us you know me i can never do this because people like us who grew up with no father no mother or there's no way that i can even be at this position because well this is just for this type of people these are limitations that you give yourself on totally unnecessary limitations i'm telling you there is there is nothing like attaining a certain level because of the social class that you belong to when you were growing there is nothing like attaining a certain level because you had no father or mother i know <laughs> i'm not saying that these things don't influence you please do not get me wrong i'm not saying that these things don't influence you they do but what i'm saying is that we need to rise above them we need to go above them we don't need to let that past influence us in a way that it determines what we do and what we don't do what we achieve and what we do not achieve like i mentioned earlier like it's 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 probably physically impossible to do this but like i said before with god everything is possible you know and as human beings you know we seek validation we seek approval we want to be accepted we want to belong and sometimes this um these feelings of belonging these feelings of um wanting love and wanting acceptance makes us to feel shattered it makes us to feel extremely bad it it just destroys us when we do not get these things you know or when we are robbed of something that you know was valuable to us but there is something that i want to tell you you know there is a peace that jesus gives that is compared to no other peace a peace that the world cannot give you there is a love that our father god gives us that nobody can give you that love there is an acceptance that he gives you you know he says in ephesians that we were predestined what does it mean to be predestined to be predestined means that he conceived you way before you were even conceived in your mother's womb you were accepted you were chosen in christ jesus you you belong to him even before you existed to humanity and that is a very deep level of acceptance and the way that god accepts us is not the way that human beings accept us we are not accepted or we are not loved by god based on our worthiness to be loved like to human beings you need to be a nice person you need to um belong to a certain family you need to um reciprocate things you need like there are so many conditions to be loved to be accepted by society but with god there are no conditions whatsoever jesus loves you um no matter like no matter what you have in your pockets even if you're as poor as what jesus loves you even if you were raped before jesus loves you he accepts you even if your parents are no more jesus loves you he accepts you 
even if um you know you think you are useless or the society thinks you're, you're useless because you didn't go to school and you're an illiterate well jesus loves you he accepts you like and you don't have to do anything about that like you don't have to go to church to for his love to be validated you don't have to pray for him to even love you you don't have to sing worship songs for him to accept you like like you already are accepted before you even knew or even realized that you were accepted you already were accepted in him like you are his child and he can never he says in romans through the apostle paul that nothing can separate you from the love of god not heavens not earth not the angels not human beings not circumstances nothing can separate you from the love of god so that love that you are seeking or that love that you feel that you can never have because of certain things that have happened to you well you already have that love and through your relationship with god you learn to know him more you learn to know who you are you learn to understand why you were saved you know what is it that christ did for humanity what is it that he did on behalf of humanity what is it that he did for you what is your purpose why were you engendered in him why were you even created in the first place and it's only purpose that can and being spirit-led that can push you forward that can motivate you to keep living and to keep being who you wanted to be because who you wanted to be or who you are supposed to be is something that god has deposited inside of you and he's not ignorant of all of these things of these things that have happened to you he's not ignorant of anything and his plan for you doesn't change his plan for you does not change i want to tell you that let go of your past don't let your past rule you you can still be very successful you can still be amazing as a matter of fact you are amazing you can still attain extreme levels of whatever it is it that you want to attain irrespective of where you came from irrespective of anything that has happened to you your dreams have not been stolen away your life has not been destroyed there is nothing that can happen to you that is going to destroy your life because your life is in christ jesus and nothing can destroy him so nothing can destroy your life you can still be who you want to be and i want you today to exploit your potential to go up to any levels of anything that you want to do be it education be it business be it impacting lives be it like whatever is it that you have dreamt of doing that you wanted to do even in your young age in your in your youth you you may be 40 you may be 50 you may be 60 you can still do what you wanted to do maybe not in the exact way that you wanted to do it but you can still do it and you need to find out how you can do it rather than sitting and crying or feeling sorry for yourself or blaming people or even blaming yourself so before i end this video i want to pray for you if you are experiencing anything that i mentioned if you are going through anything like that and it's very hard for you to let go of these things if you are so downcasted if you are so discouraged if you have given up on life and if things are just you know hopeless for you you know even when every every hope seems to be lost you know christ is our hope you know jesus is our joy he is our dream he is everything that we will ever need so i want to pray for you today abba dear father i want to thank you so much for your children i want to thank you abba father for always reminding us that we are loved by you irrespective of anything that happens in our lives I want to thank you, dear Jesus, for being our hope, for being our love, for being our joy, for being our comfort, and for giving us what the world cannot give us. Even as people listen to me, our dear Father, I pray for any person here experiencing any of these things. I pray, my King and my Father, that you are going to let their hearts be open to forgive these people that have wronged them, to forgive themselves for the wrong choices that they have made, and to look forward, O oh Lord. Now, Father, they shall be able to establish a relationship with you, and that, Father, you will give them the wisdom and the understanding that they need in this life to understand, our Father, that they have everything that they need 
need to understand that they can be whoever they want to be and to understand that they have been selected they have been chosen and they have been accepted by you and no matter what the society tells them no matter what their past tells them father everything that they are going to hear is going to be you and you alone thank you lord jesus for restoring us thank you for blessing us thank you for transforming us every step of the way as sons in christ we have prayed amen thank you so much for watching this video thank you for being with me and i will see you in the next moment magnet ciao you're blessed with every blessing carry shalom bye